Good morning, good afternoon, guys. Good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you are on this Sunday, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. There we have the beautiful dog saying good morning to you. Are you saying good morning? Good morning. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> He's going to join me in the TA today, mm. guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. He really wants to look, look, he really wants to be in the he really wants to be in the show. Check. Mm. What? No. I need to talk against the camera now. I will join you later. <laughs> in the short TA video, very short. It's Sunday. And we're going to show you what I think that is going to happen to Bitcoin at the moment. Beautiful charts. And one chart I didn't see before, really interesting. Let's jump into the charts. Bam! the first chart guys this is the four hour chart uh, one hour chart my apologies we can see that we are moving inside this pattern like i showed you yesterday's and if we would switch to four hour chart <coughs> it gives you the same uh, sorry idea same picture um is my face in the correct place guys yes it is it gives you the uh, same uh, picture so we could go down again we could go down to the 31 31.2k level to go up after that again and uh, we don't know but let's see uh, it's sunday on sunday often there is a small dump but i don't i don't think that if we see a dump on the last three sundays it needs to be a dump now again bitcoin can move in very strange ways but often we see the dump on sunday and then we see that retouch maybe of that line let's see why bam because this one I found this chart on TradingView. I'm going to share multiple charts that I find on TradingView because I really like to support other people as well. If you have good trading ideas, just send them to me and I will talk about it in my video so that we can uh, combine our knowledge. If you look at this chart, this is a one hour time frame chart. You can see this channel downwards. You can see that we are making lower uh, highs. The red arrows are pointing the lower highs and um, we can see these small channels down inside this huge channel we are again in this downward small channel and you can see that we could be moving like the black arrows are telling us so 33 or even yes 31 same that's my chart is showing you but the beautiful part of this chart is that you can also see here the rsi <coughs> in the bottom and you can see macd in the bottom and you can see that they are also trading lower highs so you see lower highs lower highs the lower highs. so the next one should be a lower high again before we turn around and go up again uh, to higher levels beautiful chart um, i don't know i think it's trading chart beautiful bam next chart this chart is also telling me the same because on the 25th of the month we always see a dump always on the 25th we see a bottom in the last seven months so why wouldn't we see that now and that's in 12 days so it could be going sideways maybe even going up a little bit but maybe also we again dump on the 25th now let's jump into those two charts that i've been talking about that i really 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 like bam this is the first one. Oh, i need to make my face a little bit smaller um this one is from glass note guys um if you look at this chart this is the realized cap hollow waves which means um how long are the coins huddled during that run i can't draw on this chart i don't know what it is but something is wrong with my computer i think but if you look to the accumulation phase over there then you get a distribution phase accumulation phase distribution phase accumulation phase distribution phase during those phases the coins are maturing from three months to six months to a year to two year to three year to five year okay i hope that is clear i know it's a lot but i hope it's clear the thing I want to point to you is, every time after the distribution phase, we see this huge bull run. After the distribution phase, we see the huge bull run. Now we had the accumulation, we just had the distribution phase. So what do you expect that this green line will do? Will it stop over here or will it again go up like it did every time again and into this huge bull run? Because, one more time distribution and then after we touch the bottom in that green v-shaped bottom we see the last part of this huge bull run distribution what happens after 
the last part of this huge boron. We have the distribution. What will happen after this? The last part of this huge boron. Uh, and that will take us to levels above uh, 100k. And why? Do you remember this chart? I showed you this chart like... Uh, I think two videos ago, it was the this is what we call the Trololo chart. This is a chart that was created in 2014, and uh, we have been touching um, every time again those numbers here. The 10k on 2020, 22nd of uh, November 2017 was touched. This chart is showing that we should touch 100k on the 16th of July. I don't know if that is going to happen, but it fits to the other models, and those other models are now. Bam, this one, really cool. Um, they are now combined on this chart. So in this chart, uh, Dilution Proof created it. So I'm going to put it there, but I do want to give him the credits. Uh, on this chart, you can see that if the, the beautiful color line, that is the current Warren. The first white line on top is cycle one, 2012, 2016. This other white line is 2016 to 2020, the whole price movement. Now, in the chart, you can also see um, the levels that we would reach. That these are the black dotted lines. For example, this one, the black dotted line on there. This is the stock to flow FX model. This is the one telling us we are going to go to 288K, which would not be crazy if you look at the first cycle. The second dotted line, this one here in the middle, this one, that is one, that is just the normal stock to flow model. That is telling us that we are going to go just above 100k, which would not be strange if we see cycle one and cycle two. Now, the Trololo chart that we just saw, that is um, this line over here, that is the dotted line, that one is telling us the same, that we would go above uh, 100k in this cycle. So all those calculations, all those indicators, all those um, halving cycles uh, predictions are telling us that we are not even halfway the bull run. Or we go to the 100k, or to the 150k, or to the 288k, it's all possible to happen in, in this kind of a square like here. And that is now, because we saw the huge dip there, we saw the huge dip there, we are seeing the dip here, and after those dips, all of these dips that you see in this square we had a bull run it would be very strange if the price would not move up tremendously from here into this beautiful area between 100 and 288k and when i believe it's going to happen somewhere here between november and february 2022 that is why i have my target around that time um, to see the top of the bull run this time Guys, that was the very short video of today with the beautiful dogs in play. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I can't make a long video because yesterday I picked up someone from the airport that is going to create something I can't talk about yet, but it's going to be big because Juna doesn't want to join us in that big thing because she's ashamed. You guess now what it is. Comment down below, guys. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!